I have this uh, bedroom light here and I've turned the brightness of the video low because it's easier to see the effect I wanna show you if it's pretty uh, low level. I also have this feather. Now this feather has a you know flat vein and the barbules of the feather essentially form very thin slits. And if I'm gonna put this feather over the lens of the camera, the light from the bedroom light is going to have to travel through those slits. Watch what happens when I put the feather over the lens of the camera. Notice you get four images of the light bulb. You got the original light bulb still there, but in addition to the original light bulb, you have four images surrounding the original light bulb. How can we understand this? Well, remember, light is a wave, and in order for it to reach the camera, those waves have to go into the lens. Well, when I put the feather over the lens, the waves have to travel through the tiny slits in the feather. When they do that, the light waves start interfering with each other. And some places, they destructively interfere with each other, forming dark areas. And in other places, they constructively interfere with each other, forming light areas. And so those other images of the light bulb that you're seeing are the result of constructive interference. Now, why do those images have color in them? Well, remember, each color of light is a slightly different wavelength. So each color of light constructively interferes with its own waves in a slightly different place. So you end up turning a white light bulb into four images that each have a little bit of color. Now, this can only be explained if light is behaving as a wave.